G'day lovelies, in today's motivational clean with me, we are scrubbing the sink and getting a whole stack of laundry folded and put away. There's some before and afters that are bound to motivate, encourage and inspire you to get done whatever it is that you get done today. But without further ado, let's do this. G'day lovelies, welcome to week two of my Get Your Messy House Clean and Tidy with me. I am starting off by showing you the real and the raw how I left the house when I finished editing a video on Friday. So this was last week, just after I'd finished day five of all of my content from last week. And you know, the lounge room looked fantastic. And that's what you saw in the video. And that's great. But the reality is, as you're walking through the house, it's not that great. And I want to show you this for two reasons. One, you know, you only ever see what a creator wants you to see. So that's the reality. I keep it real, but you know, I may choose not to show you my filthy floors again, but two, that you can make progress when it feels like, you know, everyone is at home and you're getting nowhere. So I wanted to show you everything as it was right here, right now. And just so that you can see, you know, what happens with just a few days routines in place. Now I didn't film all of the routines over the weekend. I had my family involved in the tidy up and the pick up and all that sort of stuff. I don't generally film my children you know, working for me effectively or participating in that part of the household duties because it's awkward. But um, yeah, I did want to show you that, you know, I tidied all of this up or we did as a family over the weekend. So you will see shortly what the house looked like when I got back from school run this morning. And it wasn't from just, you know, hoping that it would get tidy. It's from a few little systems and habits that I have adopted. It's not perfect. And I never aim for perfect, but it is definite progress and it feels achievable. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put this in your mind to start with so that you can see that this looks like it was never going to get tidy. They rolled all those rolls of toilet paper, like seriously. But anyway, and then this is what today looked like. The front room is pretty much the same as I left it on Friday. There's a few bits and pieces here and there, a couple of toys and things like that. Uh, let me know, I often feel like I am less motivated to clean and tidy when it's not so bad. So it was quite a bit to get going this morning. Anyway, this is what the kitchen looked like when I left for school this morning, so pretty good. I have this stack of clothes to get put away today. That is on the to-do list. My mantra to get me motivated, or at least started if not motivated, is just one thing. So do just one thing. So I am just walking my way through the house. This is what the play space looked like when they left for school. It's not perfect, but it's tidy enough it will do and this is kind of like a point in time because I'm hoping this will improve over time. There's a perpetual roll of toilet paper in the toilet. I'm just going to say that. Also, the the mirror really needs cleaning and I will get on to that. But, you know, not so bad. This sink, however, is disgusting. I cannot remember the last time I gave it a good scrub. So that's what we're going to be doing to, in today's video and I hope that you will join me, give your sink a scrub if that's what floats your boat and um, yeah, it'll make all the difference to how your kitchen feels and probably smells. Mine didn't smell but that's because in case you hadn't seen the video where I cleaned out the drains that time, um, yeah, that doesn't they are disgusting. I'll link that video down below. I'm scrubbing these off because Maeve had done some painting about a month ago to be honest and there were paint splatters all over that so giving that a good clean to start with and it's all pretty self-explanatory. In case you're new here and you're like what on earth have I stumbled across allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mel and I create content around my mission to get sorted not only in my home but in my heart which is all about relationships and parenting and friendships and community. 
my body, which is all about my physical well-being, but also my mental well-being. I live with anxiety and depression, so it's something that I have to be constantly aware of and constantly improving upon and my soul which is all about personal and self-development and that's what I do in general but on this channel I concentrate predominantly on the homemaking category or the home category all things homemaking from cleaning decluttering organizing and just generally getting sorted I believe those four areas of home heart body and soul are equally important However, like I said, this channel concentrates on the home category because I feel like it's the one that's the most easily, easily measured. So I can't always measure how I'm going in my relationships or my parenting or my mental health is not always image worthy, but the transformation of a disgusting, filthy sink is very obvious and definitely has an impact on my whole well-being. As I said earlier, my mantra this week is just one thing. Particularly today, I'm really low in energy today and I have high energy days and low energy days and this just happens to be one of the low ones. Not helped by the 2 a.m. wake up. Sometimes I struggle with insomnia, so it just is what it is. Uh, so anyway, low energy day today, so I told myself I would do just one thing. So scrubbing the sink has been on my to-do list for quite some time, so it was just one thing, and it's literally what got me through. I got onto a bit of a roll, as you will see. I actually ended up spray painting the tray that goes up behind the kitchen sink here. I didn't show that part, but that's what's happening in the background, and yeah, I did get on a roll that's something that I do find is by doing just one thing I the momentum builds up and I get going so if you're struggling to get going today just do just one thing and tell yourself just one thing and if you complete that thing and that's it for the day then so be it now the house was so tidy this morning because I do have a little morning routine that I've been trying to create a habit of and it's working. It always works on a Monday if I'm honest. I have high energy in terms of focus and attention on Mondays, not necessarily energy energy, but you know my focus and attention is much higher on Mondays. Come Thursday, it's a little bit trickier. So that's part of these daily uploads is staying accountable and keeping on track with that. So last week, if you didn't see, I was sharing a little checklist that I was following and I'm just doing that the same this week. And when I'm feeling like oh, I just don't want to do anything else, I am telling myself just one thing and I check the list out and see what needs doing next. So let me know what's just one thing you're hoping to achieve today. I was awake at stupid o'clock this morning. I decided to journal and express myself a little bit and I felt like I wanted to share that with you. So here it is. Over the years, I've tried so many systems created by others. I've followed the baby steps and others' everyday cleaning lists but never been able to maintain them for long and I've always felt like a failure, like the house actually defined me, which I no longer believe, quite frankly. I've had people in comments give me such great advice over the years and also some really judgmental comments and all of the time I felt like I failed at all things life. Life for me was all about transitions as I was growing up and I felt like I had no control at any time, always waiting for the other foot to fall, to, so to speak. So I think I just carried that on into my adult life and then my parenting life and just where I'm at right now. I've always been waiting for the upheaval to happen. I guess 2020 kind of tipped it over the edge a little bit there. But what that actually taught me was that I survived the upheaval, the up, the unknown, the challenges that I couldn't predict. And so that's actually made me stronger. It was always like I <laughs> didn't want to get too used to something in case it changed. And again, 2020 just made us readjust, reinvent the wheel, so to speak. I used to sabotage my efforts. I sometimes still do. Sometimes I know a routine or a habit works and then I just kind of stop doing it as if to test that it still works. I don't know. That's just something I do. I hoard, quite frankly. I love to collect things for no rational reason. I am terribly impulsive when it comes to shopping. I've made excuses and I've lived in shame. But I wanted to change and I wanted to document the struggles and the achievements and that's why I started this channel. The more I shared and the more I showed up and I showed how it was for me, 
the more I found my people. Maybe you've been here for a while and you're part of my people. Perhaps you're hashtag team sorted. And I thank you guys for really helping me to lead down another path of self-discovery. I think life is all about self-discovery. It's not about knowing who you are at any given moment. People often say, oh, once I turned 40, I just didn't care anymore. And well, I'm 42 and I still care. (laughs) But I feel like it's a never ending process. And it's just something that, you know, life is all about lifelong learning. The amazing author, Dr. Maya Angelou said, when you learn, teach, when you get, give. And I have that actually stuck in front of me as I as I say this and as I do this voiceover and it really is what encourages me to keep going. I feel like it's kind of an obligation that I have to show the struggles, the real life, the imperfect and to show that I'm still showing up and trying and doing my best and hoping that you see this and it inspires you to keep going, especially when things get tough. I know many of you relate to my scattered brain, my tendency to hoard and my apparent inability to stay on task. I know that some of you struggle with anxiety and depression as I do and you relate to me on that level. You may even relate to the overwhelm that the task of parenting or being a wife can sometimes bring or at least for me who never really saw that modeled maybe you relate to that constant sense of inadequacy and failure so slowly I've realized we're not failures we just have a different way of approaching all things life whether it's because we never saw healthy ways to co-parent keep a house or manage finances or because our season of life was all about survival or if we or someone we love lived with mental health battles or are even neurodivergent all of that combined it's just our life and it doesn't make us worse than someone else or better than someone else it just makes us human The failure is not in the incompletion of housework. It's in comparing it to others who don't live our lives. What I truly need when it comes to housework is not another system created by someone else, but a system that works regardless of life circumstances, one that works for my home and my family and one that is free of shame and excuses, one that acknowledged that there are reasons things get chaotic and one that supported my well-being as a woman, mother and wife, not one that was Pinterest perfect or idealistic. So creating this series and just showing up what's it all and messy, disgusting floors and sink and all, it's about my values, acknowledging my strengths and working within the challenges I face as an individual. I'm working on not comparing myself to others and sharing my reality in a way that I always have with authenticity, but without shame. So there is a load outside that I hung out early this morning just as the sun came up but I'm gonna put a load away as well. So I've got them in piles, I've got Jonah's, mine, mine, Austin's, my husband's, Rosie's is over here, Maeve's already got hers, and then we have Smalls in here, which I need to just go through and sort. So they're socks and underwear. So let's go. So I know it's not common, or at least I haven't stumbled across many who creators who tend to like spill their guts the way that I just did but I guess I just got called to do that today to just really be raw and open with you and maybe provoke some thoughts and hopefully some self-compassion really practice that kindness to yourself I honestly truly and passionately believe that an empowered woman is empowers others and finding that empowerment is really tricky if you're constantly comparing yourself or you're feeling inadequate based on the state of your house but I have said it before and I'll say it again you can outsource the cleaning but you can't outsource being a human you can't outsource being kind and compassionate to others that's just not something that can be done by someone else it needs to start with you and within you and towards yourself to truly be compassionate buddha said if your compassion does not include yourself it is incomplete so we're about 14 minutes into this cleaning video and at this point i guess if you've stuck around this long if you haven't been put off from way back 
then um, thank you. I appreciate that. And I promise not to be all deep and meaningful in every video. I just, I don't know, something just made me want to say some of that stuff today. And I guess it's the sleeplessness. You know, some people get hyper. I get introverted and in in whatever. <laughs> You get my point. Anyway, this is me, real, raw, sharing it like it is. And it really would be like this if we met in person someday, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I would just be like all shy and hide away. <laughs> but I just, I really want to just be more than just a cleaning channel to you. I wanted to be a source of support and encouragement and inspiration and I don't know, a different perspective on life perhaps a little bit thought-provoking I don't like toxic positivity I hate when someone says oh it's meant to be or just do it I just I can't do those those really meaningless quotes or conversations I feel like you have to be in certain mindset to do that and you know if you're in a vulnerable mindset toxic positivity is terrible so I try to avoid that. I really have become really more aware of when toxic positivity comes through on, you know, some of the big influences and things like that. It really bothers me. So I try to be kind of the opposite to that. So anyway, that's who I am. You're getting the real raw me. I'm tempted not to have any of this in the video, but I'm just going to do it because I just wanted to offer a little more than the superficial this day. Hopefully tomorrow I am less sleep deprived and just more about the cleaning. But like I said, if you've stuck around this long, either the video won't click off or you actually do enjoy it, in which case I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear your thoughts, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, if you think that I'm a full of it <laughs> or if you are, you know, intrigued to know more perhaps about thought processes and philosophies and things like that. I think that as a homemaker, you're way more than someone who cleans your house. There's so much more going on in your world and it's easy to forget that because you're constantly picking up socks and folding clothes and putting things away. But uh, part of the soul category is all about personal and self-development so I hope to offer that little bit here kind of discreetly okay so I'm going to get all of these clothes put away and then you will see I discover a whole new basket of things that I had stashed away in the laundry because we got visitors on the weekend and I wanted to quickly tidy things away so I'm going to get those put away as well but let's put some on uplifting music on and hopefully at least you'll leave here feeling a little bit more uplifted rather than dragged down by the deep and meaningfuls. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Before a while, I thought that I wouldn't break. Ooh. I need something else to clear my head. Someone to tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop the dice and just compromise it's the chance of your life Fantastic day and again, thanks for watching. Cheers!